How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Road to Glory career mode and this is going to be episode number 81 of this series and before we do get into anything I want to thank you guys for all the support you gave on the last episode. If you do go on to enjoy this episode make sure you leave a like on the video but in this episode we're going to be having a very important Europa League clash which will be against Spartak Moscow. We're also going to try and squeeze in a couple of Premier League games as well and hopefully by the end of this episode we will have got into March but before we do get into any games in this episode we are going to start things off with a bit of player training and I'm hoping that we can get a bit of growth from this session and well unfortunately my wish doesn't come true but in we go into the first game of the episode and this one is going to be the first leg the away leg against Spartak Moscow we're we're in a really good position in the Europa League so much so that I think we've got a good opportunity of winning it I am confident though that we can get a win against Spartak, but we'll have to wait and see what we can do in this away leg. It'll be interesting to see how we do in this game. I don't really know too many of the players from Spartak Moscow, apart from maybe Romulo, I think that's his name, the Brazilian midfielder. He used to be such a god on FIFA. Really good ball out here to Obita. We can try and get a cross in maybe. It's a really good delivery and a brilliant header and wow. How unlucky is that from Solanke, I think that is. Could have made it 1-0 so early on in this game. It's going to be Draxler to try and whip this one into the middle. And it's a decent-ish delivery. And it's going to come out here for Solanke. What a save by the keeper again. That's two efforts from Solanke, both saved by the keeper. But we do have a corner again. And we're going to whip this one in with Yukonen this time. And a really good delivery this time finds John Sutar who does end up scoring the first goal of the tie. And that's going to prove to be a very important goal in the context of this tie because it's going to be the away goal ruling for us. And I have to say, it's one of those ones where the keeper really shouldn't have come off his line. Does it look to get a pass into the middle? What a save by Sears that is. That is world class. And they're going to get a corner from this. Can they do what we did from the corner and score? It's not really the best corner. And we could go on the attack if someone wants to make a run. There we go. Up here to Patterson. We play it again if we can. And we have done. Whoa! Is he onside? I think he is. And he is onside. And it's Solanke to make it 2-0. And that was really strange. I don't even know why the defender pulled up there. You'll see it on the replay. The defender just completely got confused there. I thought he was offside for a second. But Solanke did really well to time his run. And that's a really good finish again. And we've made it 2-0 within the space of no time whatsoever. Wow, wow. I, I genuinely didn't expect that to happen. What a delivery that is. And what a goal that is by Spartak Moscow. They get themselves a goal back in this game. And look at this for a delivery. I just wasn't com commentating because I didn't expect anything. But that is a pinpoint perfect cross. We're just about holding on to our lead in this. We're just about holding on to our lead in this first half. And it's going to be a ball into the middle. And we should be able to get to that one, hopefully. No, maybe not. Osbeliz with a bit of a cheeky pass. Osbeliz again. Back out wide to Osbeliz. Inside again to Jano. He's going to get the cross in. It's a really good cross. And Jesus Christ, they're back into the game just like that. What a goal that is. I can't deny they do deserve something out of the game. But do they really deserve to be equalising that quickly? What a strike that is. Literally went right into the top corner on the half volley. And that's one hell of a powerful effort. As long as we don't concede another goal, I'll be happy in this game. Even if we can maybe score one more away goal, that will probably be the tie over if we win this game 3-2. But we're not looking likely to do that at the moment. They've equalised and the momentum is really with Spartak. And wow, Legendary are literally playing Legendary right now. And it's going to be a cross into the middle again. Oh no! They've scored the goal to make it 3-2. And that is not good whatsoever. They're in the lead somehow in this game. And there's nothing that Seas could do about that cross. But that is not good. We've just fallen apart. Since we scored those first two goals, we've just really collapsed. Since we scored those two goals, we've just completely collapsed in the game. But we've got some fresh legs on. And it's not enough, is it? It's going to be full time. And that's going to be 3-2. To Spartak Moscow in the first leg they win it and the only consolation that I can take from this game is that we've got two away goals 
And that can at least work somehow in our favour. But I have to say, we were dominated in that second half. Absolutely destroyed by Spartak. 61% possession. We only have 39%. And it's just not good enough. But now we do have the next game. And this one will be against Stoke City in the Premier League. It's going to be a very important game. And you'll see why if we see the league table in a minute. I would say if we win this game against Stoke City, they're currently in 7th. But if we win this game, then that's just going to mean that we're completely out of sight. I'm sorry, but whatever it would be, would it be... Well, it's 11 at the moment, so it'd be 14. 14 point gap at the top of the table. We're the highest scoring team. 45 goals we've scored. That is unbelievable. What a save. Good God. And we've kept it in play as well. Jesus. I didn't even expect that to come in once again. I'm just not expecting these shots to come in. And that all of a sudden, Stoke had a brilliant opportunity and should have taken the lead there. There we go, Madison. Push forward. Pass it through. Get a bit of space. Maitland-Niles having the shot. And that's a really good goal by Maitland-Niles to make it 1-0 just before half-time. And I kid you not, that's the first real opportunity we've had on goal. And we have ended up scoring it. Maitland-Niles just using his pace. And that's something that Valalba just doesn't offer, that extra bit of pace. And luckily, Niles does have a very good finish on him as well. Madison playing it off. We're going to get there. Yukonen forward again. And here goes Maitland-Niles once more. Sliding challenge won't stop him. And he's going to keep on going. And he's kept on going and had a shot. Can he make it to? Oh, yeah. Really? Did that really just happen? He cannoned it off the crossbar from an open goal. Of course he did. Of course he did. And there we have it. We end up winning this game by slender margins. Only a 1-0 win. But a win is a win. That's what I like to say. And that's going to mean a lot for the title race. Like I said, a lot of these wins have been very crucial. But this one in particular... I think that's just going to take us just that extra bit out of reach. Put it this way, we're at the end of February and we've pretty much already won the Premier League title. And we do see one player going up in this training session. Roberts is now up to a 67. But this game against Spartak Moscow, the second leg and the home leg against them, is going to be so, so crucial. I rested a lot of players in that Stoke City game and we've got a pretty much a fully strengthened lineup for this one. The aggregate first leg score was 3-2 to Spartak Moscow. We do have two away goals, but if we want that to come into action whatsoever, we need to get a goal in this game. We need to win by at least 1-0. Yes, win it back. Yes, there we go. Draxler. Playing it across. Here to Sutar. This should be 1-0 surely. And it is 1-0. And we scored the first goal of the game within four minutes. And all of that was made by Draxler. Just his effort to win the ball back. And then it's a really good turn by John Sutar. Don't know what he's doing in the box. But he scored the goal. So I don't really mind. And Solanke again. He's going to play this one through. This could be 2-0. And it's a brilliant save by the keeper. Somehow he's managed to save that. Yes, pace it. Make the Niles. Keep going. Try and get a penalty, maybe. Or just keep running. And keep going and have a shot. And it's a brilliant goal again by Make the Niles. He makes it 2 0 in this game. And for once, we are ahead on aggregate again. It's a fantastic bit of play by Make the Niles again. He just seems to be unstoppable in this episode. And has scored another really nice finesse shot. There goes Strandberg. Here we go now. An opportunity. We should make this 3-0 from here. And we do end up making it 3-0. And it's 5-3 on aggregate. And I don't think there's any way back for Spartak now. Unless they score three goals, they're not going to be going through to the next round. And it looks like Strandberg's goal is going to send us through to the next round. Oh no, we've conceded a penalty. Damn it. How, how was that a penalty? I missed it. Oh, right. Okay, I took him out. Fair enough. I guess that is a penalty. And it's going to be this guy stepping up for Spartak. Can I put him off or is he going to score? He's going to miss. Oh, my God. He scored from the rebound. And there you have it. It's 3-1 in this game. And are they going to stage a comeback now? There we go. We've kept hold of it. It's going to be Solanke. Playing it out wide. We should cross it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the risk and come back inside and have a shot again. What a save by the keeper. And there we have it. We just about scrape a win on aggregate. We go ahead and win this game 3-1, 5-4 on aggregate. And had they have scored a goal late on, 
That would have taken it to extra time, but luckily we held them out. And that does mean that we're going through to the next round of the Europa League in some pretty good fashion, I have to admit. It's been a really entertaining couple of legs against Spartak, but we're on to the next round now. And before we end off the episode, we're going to take a little look at the squad report for this month and see the players that have grown. Aaron Platt has finally gone up by plus two. Aaron Platt is finally up from an 81 to an 82, and he's looking absolutely incredible. Strandberg is also up to a 79 now, which is very good. He played really well in the last game, so it's good to see that he's gone up. Madison's also up by plus one. He's now up to a 79 overall. Although I've been using Draxler a lot more this season. But that will be the end of the squad report. And this is going to be the end of this episode. And hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.